Hello everybody, um, this video is about the how to pass the CNA test. Uh, it's a very scary and intimidating test to take, um, but you'll probably pass it. Most people pass it. Some people fail it sometimes, but um, it's, it's not too bad as long as you really pay attention and know your skills and you're prepared. But I thought I would make this video because I made a very good score on the CNA skills test. I only got a few points taken off so I almost made a hundred on it and I had a really good advantage because I was the last girl in the class to take it and so throughout the whole day I heard other girls talking about it and um, showing their scores. I don't know, I think they were allowed to do that but <laughs> They, I just, um, they were saying, like, what they got, the points they got taken off for and everything, so I really, I knew what to do, and, um, I was just, that really helped me a lot. Plus, I practiced the skills a lot before the test, so, um, it was really helpful. But, yeah, the first thing I'm gonna suggest you to do is really practice practice your skills over and over and over again um, because it will really help you if you get the routine down in your head then when it comes to the day you take your test you're not gonna be all nervous and forget what step comes after the next because with the CNA skills um, there it's all step by step by step and you have to follow all the steps and you really can't miss none of the steps so um, it's just you really just have to have those steps and skills memorized really good so and practice all of them because let me tell you I practiced every skill on my test except for the mouth care like brushing someone's teeth I never practiced it I didn't like that skill I wasn't um, before I became a CNA I really didn't like mouths and all that so I was just hoping, I was like, okay, there's like 25 skills, what is my chance of me getting that one? So I never practiced it. Um, I, you know, I read about it just in case to get the steps in my head, but it turns out that was one of the three skills I had on my test, so, and the ones that I practiced for the most, like, the hardest ones, like bed, bath, you know, foot care, just the really hard ones, I, um, I practiced really hard for those, and I didn't get any of those, so, <laughs> practice for all of them, because you don't know what you're gonna get, you're gonna get three, and it could be any of them, it could be three really hard ones, it could be three really easy ones, mine were, um, respirations, um, mouth care, and, repositioning somebody so it wasn't too bad uh them how my hardest one was like mouth care so um so just really practice them read them practice 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 you know just over and over and um it will really help you understand the routine so um my next advice would be to not let the anxiety and the nervousness get to you because the more nervous you are and the more just terrified you are, I hate to say it, but the worse you're probably going to do because um, you will be so nervous that you'll, you might mess up. It's easier to mess up when you're nervous, whereas if you're just relaxed and you're calm, um, you're more likely to just focus and do better. Like for example, my whole test, I was actually pretty fine. I wasn't that nervous. I mean, I was, but I just, you know, I just relaxed and I did great. And then my last scale was respirations. And for some reason, I just, oh yeah, I know why. Because um, I was running out of time. I only had 10 minutes left because I really took my time and I was being so calm that I took too long. So I got super nervous on my last scale because I thought I was going to run out of time. And if you run out of time, you, I don't think you're going to pass the test. So... I got really nervous and I was taking my partner's respirations and I got, or maybe it was, no it was respirations, but I got so nervous and my, my mind was just 
racing so fast that I lost count of the girl's respirations. And I don't know if you're allowed to start over or not. Uh, I forgot the role, all the rules for the test, but I, I was like, oh my gosh, I don't even know. I lost count. I wasn't even paying attention to her breathing, you know. And so I guessed how many. And I mean, obviously, if it was in real life, I would have redone it. <laughs> I'm not that kind of student, but yeah, I lost count. So I just guessed how many respirations she had, and. I got it right, lucky me, I mean, lucky me, because if I got it wrong, I would have been pretty embarrassed for failing on respirations, because respirations are pretty easy, and especially because your partner is so nervous, they're breathing really deep and fast, so it's easy to count, but yeah, anyways, I got, you know, so that's just an example, don't let the nervousness get to you and let your head race to where you don't pay attention to what you're doing like me <laughs> so just yeah, just relax you know and the more relaxed you are the better you'll do so just don't worry about it and um, just really pay attention to every single detail um, because you just sometimes you just need to take a moment pause and look at all your work and make and just just look at it observe it and make sure you're not missing anything because um a girl in my class failed for she one of her skills was transferring somebody and she didn't put shoes on the person before you transfer them and that person they have to have shoes or non-skid socks on but you know in the test they don't perform I don't, well, on my test, they didn't provide us with non-skid socks. You had to put shoes on. They had to have shoes on. And the, her last skill, the person was in the bed, so they didn't have shoes on. So, anyways, she was transferring them, and she forgot to put shoes on them, so she failed. Like, automatically just failed, because they have to have shoes on them. So, just pay attention to stuff like that. And, um, I know somebody failed for, they put the cup of urine on the table that the person eats on so they automatically fail of course and um let's see what else but oh yeah so my next um advice and this this is my a really big secret because <laughs> a lot of um people in my class didn't know that you get a lot of points taken off of your test if the one thing they really emphasize is patient rights. So pretty much that means getting the patient or the resident's permission to do anything. You know, you can't just touch them or do care on them or do anything with their bed or their room without their permission. So um, you, it's not all about, you know, I mean, most CNAs, they know when to, t to take their test, you need to go in and say, Oh, I'm Susie, I'm your CNA today, and we're going to be doing this, okay? Is that okay with you? But you, that's what all the CNAs in my class thought you had to do, but it turns out you have to do much more than that. <laughs> and this is why I got such a high score on my test, because all the girls were saying, Oh my gosh, I got points off for not, like, getting the residents right. I don't know if that was called. It was, it was, there was, like, a word for it, but pretty much... Um, yeah, a girl in my class actually failed for that because she didn't, um, she did not get their, she just didn't get their permission on anything, I guess, but she actually failed, she did all her skills right, but she failed on the, the resonant part. So, um, what I did when I went in there, I was like, okay, I'm going to do overkill on the resonant right thing. So I did complete overkill on it. I asked their permission for everything. I was a few steps away from asking them if I could breathe in their room. I was like, all right, I'm going to leave the room now. Is that okay? All right, I'm going to pull your bed down. Is that okay? I'm going to walk away. I'm going to put this clothing protector on you. Is that okay? I'm going to stick this toothbrush in your mouth. Is that okay? And then I asked them their choice for everything. Like when I got the water for them to spit their toothpaste out, I'm gonna, I said, um, do you want me to get cold water or hot water? And I mean, it's stupid, but I mean, I just wanted to get their choice on everything. Because I, I just, you know, I wanted to see how good of a grade I could make. So yeah, I just asked their choice on 
absolutely everything, and, um, I don't, I think I got, like, two points off for it, I don't know why, but, <laughs> yeah, I, but most people got, like, a lot of points off for that, and you need to be really careful with that one, because if you get a certain number of points off, you will fail the test. It's not all about automatically failing. You know, if you, you'll automatically fail if you do something dangerous, like if you don't lower the bed in the lowest position, or you, um, don't lock the chair, I don't know, or walk away from the bed if it's not in the lowest position. Don't do that, because you'll automatically fail, so whatever you do, don't walk away from the bed, but, um, if it's in the high, if it's higher, you know, but, uh, What's next? Yeah, and just be really careful with the hand washing thing because you only wash your hand, I think you only wash your hands twice. They only had us wash our hands twice and then um, for the rest of the test you just say you're going to wash your hands but you don't really wash your hands, you just say you are. But um, I got a few points off for hand washing. I don't know what I did wrong exactly but um, they're very... Um, picky and strict about that so you just need to make sure that you scrub your hands really good and do a lot of friction because I remember my test said um, that I didn't use enough friction on my hands it was so stupid but so just use a lot of friction just rub them really hard even if it looks stupid just you know, rub it really hard and just really get into it. <laughs> and um, just don't rub your hands together when you're rinsing them off. Keep your hands separated when you rinse them off and point them downwards. Just a few tips, but yeah. But, you know, you'll probably pass it as long as you know your skills. Most people pass it. Like, I had a class of like, tw like 20 people and only two failed, so, you know, just focus and you'll do fine for me.